Hi, welcome to Your Great Journey. Each week, we offer you brief tips, techniques, and insights to help you master big change. For more information, please visit yourgreatjourney.com. Your Great Journey is brought to you by audiobook publisher Wetware Media. Wetware Media publishes a wide variety of personal transformation audiobooks available from any major online audiobook retailer. For more information, please visit wetwaremedia.com. That's W E T W A R E M E D I A dot com. Today, we're sharing an excerpt from psychologist Susan Albers' audiobook, Eating Mindfully How to End Mindless Eating and Enjoy a Balanced Relationship with Food. Eating Mindfully is the breakthrough book from Dr. Albers that has helped thousands of people change the way they approach mealtimes. You'll realize how damaging it is to be mindless about your food and appreciate Dr. Albers' mindfulness-based psychological practices to help you take charge of cravings so that you can eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. In this excerpt, Dr. Albers shares the characteristics of mindful eating and the benefits it can have on your life. You'll learn about the Buddha's thoughts on eating and discover the benefits of eating and living mindfully in your own day-to-day life. Imagine for a moment that you are holding a bowl of chicken noodle soup. Think about grasping the steaming bowl in your hands. Picture yourself bringing a spoonful of the liquidy noodles to your mouth. Let's think about what happens in your mind as you begin to imagine this scenario. It's likely that you immediately had an emotional reaction to the words chicken noodle soup. Maybe it reminded you of a chilly, snowy day. Perhaps your mind drifted back to when you were a kid and sick with a cold. You may have wondered whether soup was something you craved. Your taste buds may have sprung into action, anticipating the salty warmth heating up your body. The point is that eating isn't just about picking up the spoon and putting it into your mouth. It's a lot more complex. Just thinking about eating creates an entire body, mind, cognitive, and emotional reaction. The mind-body reaction to food is reminiscent of a story I studied in Japan about Buddha and the Four Foundations of Mindfulness. This story, along with my clinical work, set the basis for how this audiobook is organized. It's linked to important aspects of Buddha's teachings, the Four Foundations of Mindfulness, being mindful of your mind, body, thoughts, and feelings, which you will notice are the very same four factors that impact the way you eat. As a young adult, Buddha discovered that mastering mindful eating was essential to his spiritual growth. He had been born into a royal family and, when he was a child, he always ate the most succulent and richest foods that India could offer. He grew plump from all of the feasts he consumed. As a young man, he discovered that all the pleasures he enjoyed at the court could not ensure happiness or protect against sadness. So when he left his royal life to seek enlightenment and a cure for suffering, he tried fasting. He discovered that fasting or severely restricting his food consumption made him weak, ill, and unable to concentrate, and it brought him no closer to solving the enigma of suffering. What did the Buddha learn from his days of feasting and famine? He learned that both too much and too little food are detrimental to health and well-being. Balance and understanding the unique needs of your body are essential for a happy, healthy life. As you can see, eating issues have been around for a very, very long time. Even Buddha struggled with balancing his eating. It took time and practice. However, Buddha eventually mastered the concept of mindful eating. He found a balance between eating too much and eating too little. This allowed him to get back to his work. The four foundations are outlined by the Buddha in the Mahasatipatthana Sutta, the great discourse on the four foundations of mindfulness. It sounds easy enough to just be more aware of what you eat, but mindful eating is much more complex and sophisticated than that. It's understanding why and how you eat, the factors that make you stop and start eating. 
The four foundations can help you answer those important questions. Sometimes you are very aware of how you feel about food. For instance, you know you love the taste of chocolate. But other times it is more unconscious. Eating chocolate may subconsciously stir up a lot of guilt. When you eat mindfully, essentially you bring all of the unconscious buried forces that dictate how you eat to the surface so that your mind can examine them and you can begin to see how thoughts and feelings impact the way you eat. Mindfulness in Everyday Life Mindfulness is a way of thinking and being in the world that is many centuries old. It is defined generally as being present and engaged in each moment in a non-judgmental way. It's adapted from Buddhist practices of meditation. If you've done any kind of yoga or relaxation, it's likely that you've experienced aspects of mindfulness. There are many ways in which you can be more mindful. Eating with greater attention is just one way. You can be more mindful of how much money you spend, or you can be more present in relationships. Perhaps you see parents at the playground distracted by their cell phones instead of being really present and playing with their kids. Maybe you don't really listen when your significant other is telling you about his day. Our attention can be very scattered and distracted by so many things. The term mindfulness came into use in the 6th century during the Buddha's lifetime. When Buddhism spread across Asia and adapted to the customs and needs of many different countries, the practice of mindfulness remained a core concept. The continued use and popularity of mindfulness exercises today attest to their timelessness and to the value of its healing power. Mindfulness promotes physical health, rehabilitation, and healing as well as being a treatment for mental health problems. Today, in the West, the mind-body connection has been well documented and extensively researched. It is no secret that healing and treating the mind is as important as nursing the body to health. Mindfulness is currently used in conjunction with medical treatments for illnesses such as cancer, AIDS, anxiety, stress, and depression, as well as for chronic pain and sleep problems. The biological underpinnings are simple. When struggling with an illness, your body's defense system uses all of its resources to target the problem. When you feel pain, either emotional or physical, your natural tendency is to fight against your distress. However, denying and resisting aches and pains raises your stress level and uses energy resources that could be used instead to heal the origin of the illness. Instead of fighting the pain, mindfulness treatments teach you how to be aware of painful sensations and to manage them one moment at a time. For example, suppose you are suffering from back pain. Instead of being angry or irritated by it, you can observe the source, watch it, and target the painful areas with specific relaxation exercises. When you are stressed and emotionally in pain, your body's natural immunity decreases. If you are stressed out about your weight or your out-of-control eating, you may spend more of your time reacting to, and dwelling on, the painfulness of your problem rather than dealing with it directly. Insight is one of the most valuable gifts that mindfulness can offer. When you focus on the here and now, free of distraction, you are empowered to make decisions and free to explore new paths to happiness. A mindful perspective suggests that healing begins by acknowledging and compassionately accepting that something in your life is causing you grief. This stance has helped people get through extraordinarily difficult conditions that, at first, seem to be overwhelming and beyond control. So if you have felt that changing your eating habits is too difficult, know that this approach can help you manage that feeling and move past it. Thanks for listening to this excerpt from the audiobook, Eating Mindfully, How to End Mindless Eating and Enjoy a Balanced Relationship with Food. You can purchase the complete audiobook from any major online audiobook retailer, if you'd like more information, please visit yourgreatjourney.com. Please be sure to subscribe to the show so you don't miss an episode. 
And if you like the show, please rate it and review it. Thanks for listening. Have a great week. Your Great Journey is brought to you by audiobook publisher Wetware Media. Wetware Media publishes a wide variety of personal transformation audiobooks available from any major online audiobook retailer. For more information, please visit wetwaremedia.com. That's W-E-T-W-A-R-E-M-E-D-I-A dot com.